kind of. I still can add so much to it. I'm just trying to get under control here. Um, yeah, I don't know if like I scheduled this or set a time up, but how's everyone doing? I've got like control panels all over it now. So I can zoom, I can change camera angles. Can you guys see me? Can you hear me? The white balance is so weird. I look like, it looks like completely washed out and I don't know how to change the white balance. Um, did you guys see me get my extensions yesterday on the Amazon? I did not like them at all when I was done with them, um, but after washing them and sleeping on them in a bun and then restyling them and having some time to get used to them, I'm starting to love them. Um, so the mystery box is ready to go. I am not showing you guys what's in it. How's the audio? Actually, I forgot. You guys are coming in this input now. How does it sound? Okay, so we're we're not talking, like we're not showing anything in the mystery box right now because I'm doing it a little different this time. Um, but I also wanted to play with Switcher Studio while I didn't really have anything to do. Um, ordered last night, yay. So I snuck it on the website yesterday and mentioned it in the Amazon Live. There's plenty to go around for a while. Um, I'll keep you guys updated in this video if it sells out or if it even looks like it's coming close to selling out. We did more this time than last time. So not sure if we're gonna sell out as fast. We sold out in under an hour last time. We did about five times the amount this time. So hopefully we don't, but obviously we wanna sell out. And we're, I'm also gearing up for a really big Christmas box. So I'm kind of using this as, um, the next couple boxes are going to kind of let me know like, okay, we definitely need to do this many or don't do that many. There's way too many if we do that. Just ordered mine. So I sent out the newsletter, which is still being sent out. Um, when I send my newsletter, it like schedules out and it goes, uh, it takes a while for everybody to get the newsletter. So I wanted to make sure everybody got the newsletter and then I posted on Instagram and then I shared it to Facebook. So I kind of am tapping into those social medias before I push it here because I wanted everybody to get a chance to get it, especially the people who are following me other places besides YouTube. So that's why I did that. Um, my first one, yay! Um, ordered one last night, ordered mine. Oh, I can actually see comments on, um, on Switcher, which is so cool. But I also have this set up as a camera too, so I can go like this, watch. And so when I'm, I'm gonna be blinging these today, I can switch camera angles and you guys can see, and then I can show off my cute nails. It's gonna be fabulous. So, um, you guys, is this not the cutest iPad case? I still have not been able to get it to hook to my, like my iPads in it, but I haven't been able to, I'll feature it today on Amazon. Um, but Crafty Mommy Bees uses it. And as soon as I saw it, I was like, I need that. Um, loving your hair. Thank you. How do I change this so that I don't have to like lean over it? Okay. So now while I'm not using this as the camera, I can use it as the commenter and read comments. I have my laptop open too to see how um, box sales are doing. I also brought the AC back, <laughs> um, which I am going to use today because it's supposed to be pretty hot. Um, yay, Erica says, I'm so glad I was able to get one. Tammy says, so glad I was able to get, oh wait, mine shipped my first one. Um, yeah, so actually this is how I'm doing the mystery box this round. Um, I've never done it this way and I'm actually really excited. So we launch it. I ordered one for myself. Um, and our influencers also are all getting one at the same time as I do. And then hopefully by Monday I'll have it and I will unbox it with all of you guys. So that way, when, if you guys got it, we'll do some crafts with it and I'll show you what's actually in the box on Monday. Um, anticipating it selling out before Monday, but not, not, I know I'm always like the pessimist over here, but I just, I've been on the route of getting way too many boxes ordered and I've been on the route of not ordering enough. So, and we haven't done mystery boxes for a long time. Um, trying to jump back into that and kind of look a little different than, uh, everything else. Thank you for loving my hair, Cindy. So we put extensions in yesterday on Amazon. 
Um, Tiffany wants to do another pack, but I'm already dying. This is so heavy. I'm finally getting used to it um, after I styled it. And I feel like so sassy with long hair too. Um, I have not had this long of extensions in a while. I'm already loving the tapins way better than the beads though. Um, I just need to move a couple. Like this one on my ear is so annoying. Um, I literally like if I put it behind my ear, it pops out. And then if I don't, I just have to like, yeah, it's, it's all good. So the mystery box is valued at $140. Um, it has actual mystery items in it. So meaning everybody's box is going to look just a little different depending on what you get. Um, some will have certain colors, others will have other colors, others will have, everything is a mystery. So when I open it on Monday, I'll show you which items are mysteries. And so feel free to post your mystery box as soon as you get it and so you can show what you got in it too. Even if you get it before I get mine, you guys can post what's in it. Um, I'm from Alaska too. Link is above at the top. Yep, there's a link. And then also I linked in this video, okay, I'm getting my life together. Um, I also linked uh, a link right to your member page if you're already a member and you need that code because remember, you guys get 20% off my boxes and all my products as a member. But my business members, I also put a link to you guys because you guys have a 30% off code. You guys get 30% off everything all the time and the reason i added 30 percent off coupon i'm yelling because i feel like you guys are over there but the audio is right here i haven't gone into the red yet how does audio even sound what if i talk like this do i do i sound better if i talk like this um the membership code does work on the boxes and you still get if you order over 75 dollars, you would still get that free shipping so if you're like a box lover and you want to get your free shipping and your 30% off, you might have to buy like, I don't even know how many boxes you have to buy because they're $39.99 um, and then 20% off that or 30% off that. Um, anyways, why I am doing the 30% off business code from now on is because we are growing and my Zooms are not as um, fine-tuned as they were when my group was smaller and so I wanted to give you guys something a little more boost of excitement so I upped that coupon code for you guys um finally got one also the new homepage looks so good thank you thank you the code works yes the code does work um yes talk like that okay I will talk like this from now on I'm working on my tv radio voice TV radio. What is a TV radio voice? Um, I forgot about the 30% off. Don't forget about the 30% off. So um, stick around. Don't get. Don't forget about that. So I'm going to bling today while we chat and hang out and I update you guys on how many boxes have sold, where we're at, um, all that good stuff. Right now we have a bunch of people on the website checking out. Um, we have a bunch of people just visiting mostly in the US. We've got some UK peeps, which I know my products are not sold in the UK and Canada and all the things. And I, I don't know. I don't even know. The thing that needs to happen is I need to get my products in Michael's, right? So, cause you guys have Michael's in the UK and Canada. Um, or maybe I do a, um, I don't know. Thanks for the great perks. You're welcome, Janet. Um, all right, uh, I want to open a new tab so I don't have to check out that one. Um, oh, I'll also be live in a half an hour over on Amazon continuing this funness. So if you want links to the iPad case, my AC, which I won't turn on until it's time for Amazon. Um, I got to suffer a little bit since I made Tiff suffer last week. Um, and the glue, the syringes, all the things, that's what I'll be doing on Amazon today. On the homepage, where do I find the villain sublimation that you did? I am not actually releasing that, Tammy, until um, August, like I was planning to do. So I just need to be a little bit more adamant with my team and say, listen, guys, if I'm not releasing something, I'm not releasing it until the time that it comes out because then I end up playing catch up with myself and I don't, I won't have that in August. So that's coming out with a lot more villain stuff. Um, for the Halloween season. Uh, do it, Christina. It's amazing. Thank you, Lisa. 
What kind of stuff are your boxes centered around? New here, so I'm unaware. Crafting. Um, they're going to be anti-tape products. I'm actually, I'm not even going to say what I'm working on because we all know how that happens. So, um, yes, they are crafting boxes always. And if they were not crafting boxes, I wouldn't not tell you what was in them. If they were like some random, like, oh, I launched a book or I wrote a book. Um, I wouldn't be like, mystery box, ha, oh, you get my book, have fun, you have to read my story. I am not working on a book, by the way, at the moment. Um, I want to eventually, but I have no idea how to write a book. I, n I have no idea how to even make a book, so. Um, that's what I keep hearing, I'm changing it today. Is there a petition we can start to get you in Michaels? Well, it's not necessarily a petition, it's just more of like a... First of all, there's two ways I could get my products in Michaels. One, I would have to get my products in Michaels, <laughs> tell them like, hey, I'm interested in selling my products to you, but that is a lot and I don't want to have to create that many products at the moment. And then also I could partner with other companies and create products with them. And so that would be more of my route I would go to get my products into Michaels. Um, no, you're not missing the files. Uh, they are just, they were just sneak peeked. And I'm really trying to be adamant about like, let's not talk about things until they're actually out. And that's just on me. I need to make sure that I'm aware of what's coming out and my team is aware. And I'm like, just don't talk about it until it is out. Um, I'm a planner and I'm a, a way ahead planner. So a lot of the times we get really excited about like what we're working on instead of what is actually out for you guys. So really trying to stay on board. So I'm using Pixar Bling today because even though it's all sold out, this is what you guys have bought right now. So I'm gonna use Pixar Bling in my blinging today. Um, I will be restocking Pixar Bling. It's just, it's gonna take a second. Didn't realize you guys were gonna like the Pixar Bling so much, but you did. Um, Coming back as a member, just ordered my box. Whoop, whoop, welcome. Will you add Luca to the membership? My boys love that movie and love your sublimation on it. Yes, I have to watch it. So I'm realizing that when I watch the movie, I get so much more inspired to design for it. So there are a lot of movies that I have not seen. Landis made a whole list of Disney movies and after I turned about 22, I kind of stopped watching movies unless we go to the, the actual theater. So every new movie that comes out, I'm going to watch in the theater and bring a notepad and design around the actual movie. I saw Cruella and I was obsessed with it and I had so many design ideas after that. And so I am literally going to do that with Luca. Um, but I'm gonna make a whole thing of it. So there's gonna be like a movie review with it and then the launch of the pro the designs that I come out with for each movie. So I do need to work backwards too at the same time. So I'll probably do like an in-home movie night with my kids and watch things like Brother Bear, which we have no files for because I've never seen Brother Bear. So when I'm designing, I don't think about the movies I have not seen. Are you coming up with some planning videos soon? Miss those. Melissa, I have them in my brain to work on. I just have been catching up myself in my own planner. And so I will hopefully be documenting the catch up work that I've been doing in my planner. Um, but yes, I will be because there's gonna, they're definitely gonna be needed, that's for sure. I'm the same after watching Cruella and Luca, I just wanna make all the things related to them right. And so I, yeah. It, it's just, it's a good time. I'm not like, I don't even know what I'm doing over here. Okay, log in so I can see where we're at. I'm just gonna give you guys an update on like, if we're like 50% sold, if we're 25% sold. Let me see. Products. And we are, no, 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 no search here. So many moving parts when I have Switcher Studio. Yes, Brother Bear. I'm an author and book editor. If you need help with a book, Liz, email me. I need a ghost writer, please. I literally have no time to write a book, but I've wanted to write books forever. Okay, so we are about a third of the boxes sold out. So there are lots left, um, 
which hopefully will last for the weekend, but you never know. Um, will you do any Beauty and the Beast designs? I haven't seen any on your site. We actually have Beauty and the Beast designs, um, and there are quite a few bell designs, but yes, I'm always designing more and more and more. So Marvel, please. Yep, I'm actually going to be creating those now, basically, because we're doing Marvel and Star Wars. So those are, we have a lot of Marvel and Star Wars, but nothing that I've personally like put my love into or sublimation designs either. Uh, just created two things from Luca for my kids. Can we submit those somewhere? Maybe they could be used. Melissa, that's a great question. Actually working on getting a communal form that you guys can fill out and submit your designs to be shared with our members. Um, and we're gonna be doing some design contests coming up soon. So if you have designs and you've worked on designs or design concepts, definitely stay in the loop because you're gonna wanna see those and you're gonna wanna be a part of it. There's gonna be some cash giveaways and opportunities to win and all the things. It's gonna be awesome. Are the Disney Vogue SVGs for personal use only? Yes, they are. I just saw the Beauty and the Beast designs. I'm working with one today. Yep, so just go under princesses and um, Beauty and the Beast has her own little bundle and then also, well, Belle has her own bundle. And then also there's um, a sublimation for all the princesses, bells in there as well. Uh, lots of stuff. Your extensions look fabulous. Thank you. Um, I definitely, it helped to kind of curl them a little larger because my hair is so coarse that little stringy curls kind of just don't blend in very well with my hair. So um, I did it like six big curls on the bottom and that was what helped. Just got mine along with replenishing the masking transfer tape. Woo! Yeah, so if you are buying the box and you're like, I really need some anti-tay supplies as well, remember over $75 gets you free shipping. So stock up on your HTV and your vinyl when we come out with a box because that is the best time to do it because you're gonna get your discount code, you're gonna get a bunch of vinyl and HTV, a box, and you'll get it all for free shipping if it's over 75. Did you give a hint to what's in the box? I have not. I've been hinting a couple things here and there, but I didn't tell you guys what I've been hinting all the last couple, like actually the last month I've been sneaking things into videos that I can show off when the box comes out and say, remember when we made this, that this is in the box. Um, does anyone know the name of the Epsi shop for the cup holder? I thought it was chips, chip, chip build, but I can't find it. It's chipped builds um can i comment on here i don't even know i can comment on here it's chipped builds she's actually one of our featured um creators right now too so not only is she a business member but she won one of those spots in the creator spots so she's awesome i got a summer mystery box okay so if they're still available on monday hey dustin um you're, what time is it, 11.40? I hate when people come in that I know on the videos and throw me off. Um, but we're glad to have you here, Dustin. We would love to see your beautiful face in our videos, though. I don't like when Dustin comes because then everybody's like, he needs to come more often. I'm like, he's not gonna. Don't get used to him here. He doesn't like it here. Um, we kicked Auntie Tay out of our house, so... I'm gonna fill up this syringe with um, glue. No, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put the camera on this so you can see how I fill up the syringe. Look at my little makeshift guy. No, no, I have to go like this. Look, I put it on a, Target had these things at um, in the dollar spot and I snagged like six of them, even though I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with them. They are like, <laughs> I have a really funny name for them. They're Lazy Susans, but that's not the funny name. That's what they're actually called, Lazy Susans, but I have a funny name for them. Um, but they are, here, I'm gonna go like this and show you guys how I fill up. This actually is like a, a tube that I need a new, this is why I use the syringes because I, um, because obviously the big tubes like dry up and get crazy, but they have, the small little tubes and I'm out of them. So I need to get more of them, but I'm just gonna clean off this gunky glue on the outside. 
but E6000 is a hot mess. So if you can use a syringe, ooh, there's a hair in there, that's fun. I guess that's gonna be my life now with extensions. Um, okay, I'm gonna just, can you even see what I'm doing? Here, I'm gonna squash this into the syringe. Why does this have like a, a tip on it? Sometimes, this is a weird E6000 bottle. Most of my bottles have like the opening at the base. There's no tip on it. This is gonna take forever. I'm coming back. All right, that, um, I just don't wanna read your comments. My E6000 bottle, I also just wanted to play with the, uh, yes, crafting with the hubs. <laughs> Glad to know I'm just dusting to you. What do you mean? What am I, what am I supposed to call you? Husband? I gotta turn, I can't turn the AC on, guys. I have to suffer a little bit like Tiffany did for me. Um, I really wanna turn the AC on. You know why you were so hot, Tiff? If you're here, you have extensions. <laughs> I'm so much hotter right now with these things in. Um, so, dang, they definitely make you way hotter. So I can see why you put your hair up by like the last video. Anyways, most big E6000 glues, the ones I've had, don't have this weird tip on them, so it makes it way easier to fill it up. We hear you loud and clear. Okay, sorry, was I like all up in your face because the audio is right here? <laughs> winter studio but I love it thanks for loving my nails does anyone know if you can use sublimation designed as a print SVG or vinyl okay so yes and no I wouldn't only because we are designing our sublimation specifically for sublimation with like splatter paint and craziness on the outsides because we are going to utilize what sublimation is awesome for whereas print and cut you need more like basic shapes so that you can cut it out Hey, I ordered mine. Oh my gosh, I thought it was just me that the E6000 was bling some Converse and the glue makes me so mad. Yeah, no, I actually need to start using the bling glue that you guys all suggest. Um, I just have so much E6000, I need to get used to it. But I also only usually buy my E6000 in the little jars, little tubes, and it's way better. Poor Tiff. Do you use a new syringe every time? Yeah, so basically you have to buy them by like the pack of 100 and um, reuse them every single time. So I would use it if you were doing like a big project because they do dry up. Otherwise get the small E6000 tubes. I'll link them on Amazon in a few minutes when I'm over there. Off topic question, can the chopped up paint be used on doormats? Absolutely. Um, got my summer box, whoop whoop. Where are we at? Let's see. We have a bunch of visitors in there. We have about 40 people checking out at the moment. Um, just in the last 10 minutes, uh, our 40 people were checking out. So it's going, it's going. I'll give the red flag if it's about to be sold out. Just, um, I'm not sure how I'll update. I'll probably update on Instagram stories. Someone from Florida just popped into the website. This is so cool. I can like literally see where you guys are. I got one Canada person on the website probably just sitting there crying because they can't get anything. You guys can take that up with Dustin. For some reason, Dustin won't let me sell things to Canada. Uh, the tip is horrible on that one. I threw it away and got a new one. See, this is why I do this stuff with you guys. So you guys can give me moral support. Got my summer box off to uh, Liquid Fusion. Yes, where do I get it, Lisa? I'm sure I can get it on Amazon, but where do you guys get it? Cause I wanna go try to snag some stuff today if I can, but I also just could buy it on Amazon and wait. All right, I'm gonna go with just a little bit of glue for this round, cause that's really annoying. Put my lid back on. I ordered my first box. After you put me on Sam, I never went back to E6000. Yeah, so Liquid Fusion. I'm from Florida, I bet it was me. Yeah, if you jump on the website, I get to see you when you jump in. There's two people from Florida now there. There are some people from the Michigan area, the Texas area, lots of people in Arizona-ish area. Um, uh, lots of East Coast peeps are on right now. Well, dang, sell the Canada. <laughs> <laughs> Dustin, are you still here or whatever you want me to call you? He said, I'm glad to know I'm just Dustin to you. What should we call him? Super husband? Super husband, are you still here? Uh, oh, you do get it on Amazon. Cool. Okay, so I'm going to order some. Oh, I don't have a little bling tray with me. 
Okay, these are the ones I want to bling. Uh, I'm, they are castles, and I don't want to yell in your guys' ear. Just remind me. Just say, shush up. Um, wow, Dustin can't believe. Yeah, who loves Dustin now, huh? Dustin is the reason we can't sell to Canada. I don't know why. He's not really the reason. He just tells me I can't. So that's Dustin's job is I get excited about things. He comes in and says, nope, you can't do that. Not because he's a meanie head, but because there's really a reason. And I don't know the reason. I can actually take these off and not. So if you guys don't know what these are, these are interchangeable headbands that are 3D printed. And ugh, happily, no, what is the name of it? I'll think of it by the end of this video. But I bought them without a bow because I want to do interchangeable bows because that's what I do. I make those, but I really love the 3D ears. They're so cute. And I ordered um, the Cars one and the, we already blinged this over Craftier Stash and I want to bling it more, but I blinged this with, um, what is this called? Dot. And um, like you can bling the back of them. So they're really cool. These ones say happiest place on earth on the back. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it just cause it like looks super 3D printed, but the fronts are super cute. So I might do like some pattern vinyl on the back or something um, because I'm just not a huge fan of it. But I also like the clearness. So I might not do that too. Uh, you could put like lights in here. You could do so many cool things. But if you just want them the way they are, that's cool. I'm, I'm probably yelling in your ears. I'm sorry, guys. Okay, I'm gonna use my bling tool and my lid. And I'm gonna bling up all the pink areas of the castle. So I'm gonna put some glue in there and I can't really see. I don't wanna pull it away from you guys. Um, I'm gonna do just like a couple and the E6000 is coming out. So that's another thing about these syringes is I would have got the ones that have lids. I'm just gonna dabble some like pink all over. I'm not gonna cover all the pink. I'm just gonna do pink in random areas all over the pink so that it doesn't cover the pink. How many times can I say pink? All right, so let's grab some random pinkness and just Put it on to give it just that little extra oomph of sparkle. This is why I love subtle blinging because it takes like two seconds to do. And I can just elevate something. I, lo I love the word elevate. Tiffany uses it all the time. So I say it all the time now. I'm like, elevate it. Elevate it with some bling. But it really is applicable. Like elevating things with bling is amazing. Switcher needs to give you the option to be able to do picture in picture so you guys can still see me and I can talk to you guys face to face. But so it might not look like much, okay? It might not look like, okay, you're adding like little polka dots of pink. Wow, that's so cool. But when you're in the park, man, and the sunshine hits your ears, it's gonna take your ears and just sparkle them like crazy. You don't need a ton of bling for this to happen. Um, so let's, I'm going to grab some baby bling and pop some in there. And then I just took my super cute ears and just elevated them. And then I'm going to, I didn't put any on this because I didn't want it to dry. I'm just going to put some right there, some pink, maybe a couple different colors of pink to give it some texture. And then it's not much, but it's enough that when I'm at the park, when it hits these, it's going to take it. Like, these are not going to bling at all. But now that they have bling on them, they're going to bling. Funny how that works. But I can go as crazy as I want. I could bling all this out, or I could literally spend five minutes or ten minutes blinging this. So then I want to put some in the fireworks and maybe on Tink's dress. I can do green on her dress. This is why you guys need the Pixar bling. Um... So if you guys didn't know, if you buy, I know they're sold out, but they will come back because it will be a staple for the rest of my blinging days. Um, the Pixar bling is if you buy all of them, you literally have every single color you need for all the crafts. And I will always model these as like craft subtly like this. So these will be in your, in your craft room for a long time. Um, there are the crazies out there that like to bling 
the world and that's cool you do you boo but i'm not about that life i don't have time for that so um we need a link for the ears yes uh it is called oh anybody know what these are called i talked about them before and you guys can let her know i sent you so we get on her radar so maybe she'll send me some more ears to do stuff with but um aloha ears something um look it up on instagram well, most of the ears are sold out, rats. And that's the hard part about these homemade ear things. Actually, I think she does made to order ears. So hers don't sell out, that's why I've been able to get them. So I'm gonna do some blue on the blue parts and then I wanna do, I definitely wanna do green on Tink's ear, or Tink's dress. Let's get some blue on here. These are gonna be so cute. These ears are already ridiculously cute, but add a little bling and the world just got better. That needs to be the slogan for our bling. Add a little bling and the world just got better. Crazy blinger and proud. <laughs> yep, you guys can be crazy blingers and proud. I love watching you guys bling all the crazy stuff. I'm like, good, I love that for you. I cannot, I don't have the patience for that. Um, but I do love this kind of blinging. It's been a while since I've sat and blinged something that I've really been excited to bling. And these I've been ha I've had sitting around because Disney has been closed. So I'm like, I'll bling those one day. I have no reason to bling them right now. Now I have all the reasons in the world to bling all the Disney things. Aloha Ear Designs. Yes, that is who sells these. I'm also not trying to cover up any of the details, so I'm literally just picking like the larger spots of the colors and going in and doing like two or three pieces of bling on each color. Um, so in, this is the blue mix and it has, I believe four or five different colors in it, but basically if you wanna sample every single one of our non-AB colors, the Pixar bling is where you go for that. Oh, these are gonna be so adorb. Adorbs. Totes adorbs. Okay, let me see if I can show you. It's gonna be, oh, if I do it this angle, we might be able to see the glitter. The bling. Let's turn this like this. All right, so can you guys see? Crazy Blingers Anonymous. Um, it's hard to tell the bling and there's a little extra glue right there. I could probably do a little baby bling on that. But so I can go in with the yellow and do some of the yellow. I can go in with the purples and do the purples. I can do the green, where am I at? Green, I could put some on her body if I wanted to, not a huge fan. Um, for the silver, I actually probably would use 1928. So I correct myself. Um, if you have all the Pixar colors, the six Pixar colors, then you have every color we carry. But if you want all of our blacks, whites, and silvers, you get 1928. And then, um, Ice Queen is by far the prettiest bling on earth. And that's just all, all icy white crystals. So pretty. Love those ears so much. Thank you. Okay, I gotta go. I gotta get over to Amazon in less than six minutes. Um, I probably won't be live for very long over there today, but I'll be continuing blinging stuff, blinging these ears for our trip. Um, so catch me over there. If you guys don't know how to get there, it is, I'll put a linky link. It's www.amazon.com slash shop slash Auntie Tay. And um, if you are ever wondering how to get there, my Amazon store, there's links on every single one of my videos on YouTube, on my Instagram, everywhere. And then if I'm live, I'll be at the top. If I'm no longer live, all the old videos are at the bottom. Um, I love how it just pops now. Right. So they definitely, I can do one whole ear so you guys can see. And did you see how long that took me? Like took me like five minutes. Most of it was me talking about my life. So watch, I can zoom in now. Watch, it'll cut my head off though. 
I'll come down here so I can show you. Let's see how close I can zoom in. <laughs> can you guys see? It's hard to tell, but I'll bling the rest of one ear so you guys can see the difference in um, the ears. So this one not blinged, no, other way around. This one not blinged, this one blinged, and the white balance on my camera is so weird. I don't even know what's wrong with it. Let's see how close I can get. Look how fun that is. So see that bling? It blings so much more in real life. You can't even tell in, in the video. Um, and then you've got this one that's super cute still. Nope, I can't see it backwards. This one's super cute still, but this one is just gonna be so much more elevated at night, in the park, all that stuff. And I'm gonna continue to bling it on Amazon. All right, guys. So I'll see you guys in a couple minutes if you want. If not, go get your box. We'll be unboxing it on Monday. I'm so excited for it. All right, the linky to the box and all the things are in the description if you're watching the replay. Uh, I'll see you guys later. How do I, can I end it right here?